Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the updates that Jackrabbit has undergone over the last couple of days. I'm going to start with one of the simplest ones, which is daggers and spears. A dagger is any time you have a candlestick that drops a significant amount. For example, this one. One single candlestick and you can see it dropped almost 15% at one time. These are daggers. They can play havoc for dollar cost averaging and for volatility indicators. So Jackrabbit can now filter out signals on these types of coins to where they won't register a buy signal at all. The same holds true with spears or candlesticks that increase in price very rapidly. For example this one here again almost a 15% increase in one single candlestick. If you're using shorting or you're trying to use price maximization for your profit these can cause havoc. So spear watch and dagger watch are now configurable options within Jackrabbit themselves. The default is 1%, and that seems to be the most common through analysis that's the most problematic, but they are tunable and individually separate. Now I'm going to talk about something that is a little more complex. Well, before I do, this is a new module added to the system that you can use to wash your spears and such as well. So we're going to go ahead and close this out now and move to the next big update. Jackrabbit's new and advanced candlestick analysis. We see here a nice chart. I've got Jackrabbit running in aggressive state. But now a lot of these areas are just not that great. So we're going to go here. And we're going to tell Jackrabbit to apply a very advanced analysis and take out the unnecessary and weak signals. So we're going to turn candlestick analysis on. And this requires red-green analysis. Now, we have a very colorful chart in front of us. With zones laid out in colors. Okay, let's zoom in here. As you can see, zooming in, colors are more pronounced. And I will warn you that this is extremely heavy for the mathematics. So if you have an older device, it will grunt a little like my tablet it's doing right now. Let's see if we can get this moved to where we want it. Maybe zooming in will help me move it a little more. Because we're going to have to go in close anyway to take a look at some of the more advanced functions. For example, Jackrabbit now introduces yellow candles. So 
as you can see here are some examples of these yellow candles. For Jackrabbit, red candles are now when the price of the current candle is less than the price of the previous candle and the closing price is less than the opening price. Since this isn't true here, where this candle doesn't meet the criteria, it's painted yellow. Green candles are very specific as well. The current price must be greater than the previous price, and the closing price must be greater than the opening price. So in this case, if we just take a look at the numbers, you would be able to see, okay, let's see if we can get this to light up. Okay, not going to cooperate for me. But when you hover your mouse over it on your PC, you'll see the numbers, and you'll be able to compare them to the candlestick previous. And you'll also notice the background is yellow. A yellow background is weak signals. Even though it's got a green candle and two red candles, well, two greens and two reds, and a little doji here, you'll notice that the background is indeterminate. Indeterminate areas will not allow buying and selling. You can only sell in the green zones and you can only buy in the red zones. The system won't allow a mixture as it can cause problems of course with you making your profit. So let's see if we can grind this away and get to some signals. Oh, nice big yellow area. A lot of yellow candlesticks. You will see the actual strength or weakness of the coin you're working with by the amount of yellow. The more yellow you have in a coin overall, the weaker that its fundamental characteristics are. And weaker coins have a tendency to do poor in the market as a general philosophy. And we are slowly moving. Now with the new candlestick analysis and understanding of red candles, Jackrabbit tries to seek the lowest price possible within the red zones. The same holds true if you use selling through Jackrabbit's alerts. It tries to find the highest price possible. But it also tries to avoid daggers like the one that's scrolling by. Okay, here's a buy signal. Notice it gets a buy signal because it's lower than this candlestick. And its closing price is below its opening price. And this actually has a nice little range. This is what we want to see. Now we're going to zoom out and we will get a real good look at what this coin has to offer. A 
as I said, the math behind all this is extremely intense. But you can see from the markers that the profits are greatly improved compared to previous uh, versions of Jackrabbit. Okay, now this is a relatively weak coin. You can tell by the amount of yellow. So if you see a lot of yellow, even though you have good markers, that's still a fairly weak coin. Now let's go to a coin that is fairly strong. Bitcoin Cash, for example. And it's slowly loading. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, finally. You will see an immediate difference between ARPA as a coin and BCH as a coin. And the analysis. And this is really what you want to look for when you're dealing with coins. You'll notice there's a lot more red and a lot more green. There's not as much yellow. This is a stronger coin. You can also see your buy and your sell markers are frequent. And they are pretty good profits for the most part. Even when you have a safety order or dollar cost averaging like this one, that's still a pretty good profit after all is said and done. So this is where you really want to see coins. Nice, good saturation of reds and greens. Coins that have yellows, they're not going to perform as well. You'll get some work out of them, but not a lot. For example, let's look at BAT. You'll notice I have BAT on the 5 minute mark. Because the 1 minute mark for BAT just doesn't perform very well. Okay, it's slowly loading. That performs pretty good here. Nice colors, lots of saturation, a lot of reds and greens. That's what we want. But now, let's look at the one minute mark. And you'll see just how different it looks. And sometimes when you're looking for this kind of a situation, you do need to look at other time frames. And of course, you see the colors here, the red, yellow, and green that match Jackrabbit's analysis. But here you get the picture. Look at the yellow saturation significantly higher in the one minute versus the five minute. So the one minute does not perform very well. Only one real trade for pretty much the entire 24 hour period that can be seen here. So that's something you want to be aware of. If you get a lot of this, go up to a higher time frame and see if it makes a difference. Now I will tell you from experience of working with this that there are cases where some coins will never improve. And this is a good indication that it's just a weak coin to begin with. 
and probably something you won't do very well in trading on. So you want to be aware of that while you're working. To pay attention to your saturations and if you start seeing too much yellow, that's a weak coin. You want the reds and the greens. These are nice colors, rich saturation, all three colors, but predominantly red and green. So let's see if we can find another coin that has an unusual history. Things are really slow here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's take a look at an offshoot coin. Something that usually doesn't do well. Example, Pearl. Again, you notice I have it on the five minute mark to try to get some profit out of it. Oh, nice green color there. Here is the five minute chart. Nice colors. And even though it doesn't have a lot, you can see I've got a lot. I've got a few good opportunities here that look like they're going to do well. Now I have this coin simply because at the five minute mark it's not going to fire off very often. But if my bot is not busy, and I happen to catch one of these signals, why not catch it? It has yellow in it. It's not a large amount of saturation, but it's not a small amount either. But it does have a couple of good profit areas. So it's something that, if it gets hit in the right timing, it's worth exploring. But now looking at the one minute, we're going to see a whole different picture. We're going to see just how weak this coin really is. Look at this. No solid buy signals for an, pretty much a 24 hour period. And that's not good. So that's why I decided to have this coin on the 5 minute mark. Just to catch what I could when I could. So there you have it. That's Jackrabbit's latest updates. Be sure you spend time looking at your coins and analyzing them for your candlestick analysis. Now if you're looking for just straight saturation, you may want to turn off your candlestick analysis. If you're looking for advanced saturation, like what I'm trying to achieve here, then it might be worth keeping it on or a combination thereof depending upon the coin you're working on. For example, with this coin, it doesn't produce any buy signals because it's just not that strong. But I have a couple of good healthy sell, um, excuse me, sell signals. It doesn't produce sell signals. But I have some healthy buy signals that could bring me a good profit with a trailing take profit. They're not that often so the hopper is not going to go out of its way to track them down. But if it's not busy and it happens across one of these, especially right here, this is a good decent profit. Nice little run. So there are reasons to keep a yellow coin. And if you just have to have one, the new systems will make every effort to find the best opportunities. So until next time.